Thank you, West Hollywood, for providing free poop bags. I think two for each, two for each dog. Because my dogs poop like horses. Just kidding. Actually, they poop really little because I feed them like premium diet. But I never heard of that. You feed your dog pedigree. All right, guys, I'm about to do something that you should never do. I'm taking my dogs, three dogs, three young adult German Shepherds to the dog park for the first time. Now, these dogs have never been to this park. You should never do this unless you really know your dogs and you know how to evaluate the other dogs at the park as well. But I will take them in there. They have good, they have good temperaments. They are pretty stable. And I'm going to be, of course, paying attention to everything that's happening around us. It's not just my dogs that I have to watch out for, but it's also the other dogs. It's like kind of like when you're driving, you know, you have to drive for yourself. But one thing that I learned is that you also have to drive for the other people because they could hit you at any moment. When you're taking a dog to the dog park, it's very similar. I'm going to pay attention to what my dogs are doing wrong as well as when it might be the perfect time to recall my dogs from a situation because it's bad for them. Which may not even be their fault. It could be just another dog that is you know, like causing the problem, you know? Why am I running out of breath? I feel like I haven't ran in my entire life. Okay, this way. We're getting here to the West Hollywood Dog Park and we're going to be bringing them in there. First, I'm probably going to give them some exercise outside of the park first. They're very um, over aroused right now. They just came from an hour like car ride. And like I said, these are young adult German Shepherds. They have a lot of drive. They also live in a pack, so they really are used to high um, intensity exercises. So bringing them to, as you can see, those dogs over there, where there's just a lot of dogs with uh, you know, very high energy and dogs that I don't know their personalities and what, what habits, bad habits they may have. So it's really important that I am taking all the precautions possible to make sure that my dogs will be safe as well as the other dogs in there. So first we're gonna hang out outside of the park, just see how they're feeling. Because like I said, it is their first time being at this park. We wanna make sure that they're well acclimated before they go in. Because situations like that, if they don't know those dogs, it can be very uncomfortable for your dog to be faced with uh, that type of agitation if they're not comfortable with it yet. Come on guys. So I'll get them comfortable with just continue to follow directions from me despite the distractions and any type of agitation before they go in just to not uh, put them in a confrontational position. Plats. And we're going to practice with Chanel, the youngest. Like I was saying, she has to learn the same thing now. So that's something that we just started doing this week. Uh, we want to make sure that she's able to hold herself back because we don't want a big strong dog that is completely out of control. She's doing pretty good. Uh, but you can tell that between all three of them, she's the most agitated, as you could see, uh, right before she even got up. Louis, plats. Plats. Uh, even before she got up, I could tell that she's not really relaxed laying down. Plats. So this is something that I'm going to reinforce with the leash pressure that you guys can see right now, just like this. This is going to reinforce that she has to stay down. And after a few repetitions, she'll learn that she can do it and she can relax and there's nothing to worry about. Naturally, she wants to do something about it. She wants to be interacting with those other dogs and she's unsure of what to expect from them. But because I'm going to show her that she can trust me and nothing is crazy is going to happen and there's a time and place for everything, she will get freedom to go there and play. She will learn to relax like the rest of my dogs. Fuss. We'll gradually get a little bit closer. Uh, she's very submissive and playful, she, so there's no aggression to worry about. But like I said, she doesn't really know how to be in this type of environment yet. We'll go ahead and let them get a little acclimated to the fence first. I always pay attention to the dog's body language. Every dog is different. Even if it was one of my dogs, if they go to come here for the first time and I see any signs of them getting uh, over fearful or overly excited, I would not bring them into the park. Right now, they're pretty calm. I'm just going to do a couple more minutes of evaluating before we go in. All right, now it's time to go into the dog park. He just stole it. <laughs> I'm sure our balls will get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
You missed it. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Ready? Get it. Gentle. That's your dog, right? Yeah. Nice. I was like, oh. It's my dog's first time at the park. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, that's they... Priscilla. She wants, she likes him. Oh, I think they, yeah, yeah. I thought they were the same <laughs> Louis. Oh, really? He's overstimulating? Yeah, he's so quiet. Buster! So now I have to wait for Chanel. I'm not going to chase her because her recall is not there yet. Um, and until I've reinforced it, which I'm actually filming a video on how to reinforce that, I'm going to show you guys how to catch the dog without chasing the dog. Uh, I would never have even let her off leash in an area where it was unsafe for her. Right now, with this level of distraction, she's definitely not going to come to me. But there's certain things that I'll show you that you can do at home, just like in a, an emergency situation, to catch your dog. Uh, definitely when she's only going to call her or giving any, any indication that I even want to interact with her when she's already paying attention to me. So I'm going to wait for moments like this, go down, do the like inviting things. Uh, you can tell that she's more interested in everything else around her than me. So if I called her right now, it would be completely just teaching her to actually ignore me the next time that I call her. So I'm going to just wait. Louis, plats. And then she's here, and when I catch her, also I'm gonna give the impression that I didn't really catch her. She's just hanging out with me. No pressure, and I'm going to casually put the leash on her. When I put the leash on her, she's hooked, and she doesn't even know that she got caught. Dogs, you know, by association, she'll learn that if I try to catch her or that she got trapped, the next time she's gonna be scared to come to me. But because I didn't do that, she's going to have no association with me putting the leash on her. Until I actually have the, uh, the, the recall trained, right now she doesn't have that, so this is just how I do it without going backwards with the training. She's getting conditioned to respond to the pressure, but she does, event, all my dogs, I mean, I train them with that pressure because eventually they're gonna get to like this. Louis, come. Platz. So I don't have to like apply any pressure. And they can do it anywhere, you know. Um, but I basically just reinforce it with a little bit of leash pressure. I love that you have so many dogs, but Yeah. It's definitely a, a lifestyle. Oh yeah, it's the, way to, it's the way to do it. Having the seven, it's a lot of work. No, it's the way to do it. It's like kids. 